The first tip to get a cinematic shot with a cheap camera slider is to use slow motion. Most cameras these days can shoot in 60 frames per second in 1080 HD, and when you throw that in your editor, if you slow it down to 40%, this is gonna give you 24 frames per second. This gives you a great smooth cinematic looking shot at 40% of the speed it was recorded in. Shooting in 60 frames per second for slow motion is a great way to get rid of some of those jitters and bumps on your slider, especially when using a cheap camera slider, sometimes you can get a few jitters here and there, and using slow motion is gonna help level that out. I'm gonna give you four more tips on how you can take a boring shot like this and turn it into something epic and something cinematic like this. You gotta just press record. Hey guys, my name is Noel Moult with Think Media, and tip number two is to practice your shot. Now, just like anything when it comes to video, you need to practice with the gear that you have. It's no different when it comes to a camera slider. You definitely want to practice with the slider getting the shot you want. You wanna be comfortable with this piece of equipment and learn the best ways to use it and how you can get the best results with it. And really the only way to do that is by practicing. A lot of people think that a camera slider will just instantly give you a perfectly smooth shot, but that's just not the case, especially when you're spending less than $100 on a camera slider. Now the one that I'm using is around $50 and you still can get a really amazing sliding shot, but I had to practice with it a lot to be able to learn how to use it the best that I can. And I promise you over time, as you use this more and more, you're going to get better shots much faster. Tip number three is slower is sometimes better. When I first got the slider, I really wanted to do these quick, cool moving shots, but reality is those don't always look the best on camera. If you watch movies or TV closely, you're going to see that when they do these sliding shots, they're usually at a very slow pace. I want to remind you that having a slow moving shot can give you just as great of an effect as a fast moving shot. And the nice thing is with a slider, it is easier to get a good shot when when you're focusing on moving it slowly rather than focusing on moving it very quickly. Tip number four is to use purposeful movements. Now let's say you're recording B-roll of a product. There's so many cool ways to use a slider. You can go side to side, you can go in and out. But when it comes to storytelling and short films and feature films, you definitely want to be purposeful with your movement. A sliding shot moving into your character's face can actually tell a lot to your audience. It can really bring them into your character's mind and even explain to the audience that this character is having a revelation and you did this just with a camera movement. Let's take a quick look at this shot from my short film. Yes, Do you understand sir. what I'm saying? Okay. No I... package got delivered to my house. They took Jay's PlayStation right off the front porch. Middle of the day. Oh, oh those kids. kids. You think it's kids? I know it's kids. Mothers know these things. At this moment in the story, our main character realizes that his package was not misplaced, but rather it was stolen. You can also have the same effect from a moving out shot. This can take you farther away from the character and often can make the character feel like they are losing. This is a great shot to show physically that they are moving farther away from what they want to achieve. Stay tuned for a bonus tip that's gonna give you much smoother footage on your camera slider after I talk about tip number five, which is to add in foreground elements to your shot. If you have a camera slider and it's not that long, this is a fantastic way to add a lot more life, a lot more movement, and make your slider movement look much larger than it really is. This really adds dimension to your shot and having some foreground elements allows you to see that the camera really is moving. If you have nothing in the foreground, sometimes it's hard to tell with a short camera slider that you are having a camera movement. This is a shot on the full camera slider without any foreground elements, and this is a shot on the full slider with some foreground elements. And you can see that with that foreground element, it just looks a lot bigger. So as you set up your shot, make sure you look for foreground elements that you can incorporate into the movement. Two quick bonus tips. One, use post stabilization. Turning on stabilization in your editor is going to give you a much smoother shot, especially if you happen to pick up some jitters or bumps while recording your video. And tip number two is to use a rubber band to move your slider rather than your hand. This can help eliminate some of those jitters from your hand by using a rubber band that gives you a bit more stretch and give. Click on the screen and watch the three point lighting video where I teach you a trick that Hollywood uses in their films and in their TV shows. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.